Hello, in this video we're going to do a problem involving circular permutations and we're going to do it without using any formulas. I'm just going to attempt to explain it. So let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. The question says, how many circular permutations are there of four persons playing bridge? So first we have to clearly identify what we mean by a circular permutation. So in this particular case, if you have four people, so one, two, three, four, and you put a person here, and you put a person here, and you put a person here, and you put a person here. Um, and let's say you call this person A, B, C, D. That's a circular permutation, okay? So now if you were to rotate this, so let's say you put a person here, 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 and here. So this becomes A, so you shift everyone to the right. And then here's B, and then here's C, and here's D. You basically turned everyone, just everyone's shifted over one seat to the right. This would be the same permutation. These are the same, okay? Um, so two uh, circular permutations are going to be the same if the corresponding uh, positions have the same objects to the left and to the right. So they're going to be the same um, basically no matter how many times you spin it. So if I spin this, if everyone moves three seats to the left, it's still going to be the same permutation. Okay, so how many times you shift it because the circle is not going to change. What matters is that you know, if the person to the left and to the right is different in two permutations, um, then, then it'll be different, right? For example, um, if we had, say, A, C, you know, B, D, that would be different, right? Okay, so the way to do it is to fix a person. Okay, so here's a person. And then we need to figure out how many ways we can arrange um, the other positions. Well, we've already fixed a person. Uh, we have four people to start with. So there's three ways to choose this person, two ways to choose this person, one way to choose this person. So that gives us three times two times one by the multiplication rule. So six, six circular permutations. So that would be the number of circular permutations of four people. In general, the formula, if you have uh, n distinct objects, they are n minus one factorial circular permutations. I hope this video has been helpful and you've learned some mathematics. Good luck.